have a sister who is in training to be an astronaut. In fact, most of my sisters are quite exceptional and I'm gonna show you a picture of them right now. McGann here, she is an astronaut in training. I'm the oldest and I run a martial arts school here in Wollongong. The 22 and a half thousand people that applied for an astronaut position and McGann got chosen, I am not in the least surprised at that. You know, I've always known that McGann is an exceptional person. Um, you know, she's won so many academic awards that that's obvious, but that's only one part of McGann. I did martial arts for about eight years while I was at, uh, at school and I started at white belt and worked my way through to a black belt and that was in Hapkido. And actually just last year I started Taekwondo. Hi everyone, coming to you from the countryside south of Bonn, having a lovely weekend hike after my first week of astronaut reserve training. The European Astronaut Centre is in Cologne on the DLR campus, which is the German Aerospace Centre. It's so aspirational. Everybody at some point in their life, I'm sure, has thought about being an astronaut, let alone going through the process of actually becoming one. During my time at the National Research Council of Italy, uh, I found out that they have polar research institutes there and they actually look for somebody, they look for people to go and spend the winter at Concordia Station. Concordia Station is also known as White Mars and uh, that's because it's the closest thing we have on Earth to what it would be like to go on a mission uh, to Mars. I found myself heading to Antarctica to what was an absolutely life-changing experience. The, the, the physical conditions were tough, yes, we got down to minus 104 degrees Celsius wind chill. I was working outside every day. We had 100 days where the sun didn't rise, but I think the, the mental challenge was, was the bigger one. And these experiences and what that taught me about myself definitely then helped me when I later applied to become an astronaut. I would like to go to the, to the moon, to Mars, to the International Space Station. I would be happy with any of these and I would be particularly interested uh, in actually going to another star system and seeing exoplanets and whether there is life el elsewhere in the universe or are there at least ha other habitable planets.